I have five leftover charm squares from previous projects and what I'm going to do is take this one here in the middle and I'm going to fold it in half, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take one of the other pieces that looks the same and I'm going to lay that along the raw edges of the folded piece and I'm just going to line them up along the top and down the side. I'm going to make sure that the edges sit neatly together and then I'm going to take one of the other pieces and I'm going to lay that piece on the other side of the folded piece and once again I'm going to line everything up. So what I have now is two pieces that are the same but one is folded and then I have the contrasting piece and I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew all the way down the edge with a quarter inch seam. I've sewn down the edge with a quarter inch seam and now I'm just going to open this up and show you what it looks like and you can see my folded piece here and that's just flapping in the wind. Now let's lay that down and I'll show you the next step. So what we're going to do next is hold on to that folded piece and we're going to pull the other two pieces back. Now you can actually go and press those pieces in place if you want. I'm not going to do that at the moment. And what I do next is I take this piece, which is the same fabric as the folded piece, and I'm going to place that on top of the folded piece and I take the contrasting piece of fabric and I slip this one underneath and I'm going to line everything up along the top and along the side edges and I'm going to sew down this side with a quarter inch seam. I've sewn down the side there as you can see and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to push the two larger squares back and just look at that. That's what you're going to end up with. And what I'm going to do is work with the folded piece and I'm just going to put my fingers in the middle and just like that and I'm just going to pull it apart because what I want is to have the two seams line up. So I just keep gently pulling and adjusting that centre piece apart until those seams are nicely in line with each other. Okay, so now that they're lined up, you can see that there, and we just pull that folded piece flat, and then we just make sure everything sits nicely. Now on the other side, you'll find that this piece doesn't want to play the game. It wants to fold up and be bunched up, and that's okay. We're going to work with it. We will put a pin in it, but we're going to work with that, and, and I'll show you what we'll do just to make sure that that lays flat shortly. But in the meantime, on this side everything is nice and neat, all the edges line up, so we're just going to pop in some pins and just keep everything nicely in place while we sew it. Okay, so there we go, all the raw edges, see how lovely that's sitting, that's just sitting nice and flat. And what I'm going to do once I've pinned it is I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to sew along that edge with a quarter inch seam. So here we are at the machine and we're just sewing along. As you can see everything's going nice and neat and now we've come up to the seam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here when I get to the seam and I'm going to lift the presser foot, keep the needle in the down position and I'll just take that pin out and what I'm going to do is just reach in and I can now pull that folded piece out a little better. See it still folded in so I just want to manipulate it so I've got enough room to do my seam without catching that folded bit because we don't want any folds in this and we want to make sure that it sits flat. Okay that's looking pretty good so I just lay my top piece back down, drop the presser foot and then we'll just sew to the end. Okay so we've sewn all the way down that seam and we've made our adjustments as we went and now we're going to open it and this is what we end up with. So there you go, this is a quick and easy 3D bow tie quilt block. Now you can have the bow tie part all in one colour as I have here or you can change it up and have contrasting colour for the centre of the bow tie. Both options look great and you can see here that I've got a different option uh, in the middle and you can actually then use that as the bow tie can be either way. And here's another one and I think they look really great. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.